So over the past few days, a new legendary farm has hit the web. Today we check it out and damn guys, it's pretty damn naughty. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands every single week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so big shout out to my pal Big Fawn for the footage. Okay, so this legendary farm basically allows you to get literally hundreds of legendaries every few minutes and it's as simple as shooting a frozen enemy for as long as you want to spawn legendaries it really is that basic now this can be done on any class but the easiest method is to do this on amara using her phase grasp Okay, so with an Amaru with that phase grasp on your build, head to Eden 6. You want to be offline to do this also because you are looking for a loot tinks. They spawn online, yes, but they are super rare. Offline, there are families of the little bastards running around. So on Eden 6, the loot tinks can spawn in multiple spots. The idea is to find one, any one, it doesn't matter. The original one will be fine. There are multiple spawns for these little fellas, which I will run you through at the end, taken from an older video I posted. But use any, you are good. So locate any of the lootings. Now if they are surrounded by enemies, kill the surrounding enemies. Then what you have to do is wait for the looting to start to bury into the floor. It kind of like opens up a teleporter and dives in. When he does this, shoot him and then instantly use your phase grasp. When you do this, he freezes in place. And once he's frozen people, you can simply just shoot his backpack and it will constantly spawn legendaries. Now you want to use low powered weapons here because you don't want to kill him. The infinite pistol is great for this too, as you don't run out of ammo. What I suggest you do though when you've got him frozen is just take off his shield, then let it regen. And you can do this for as long as you want. Just farm away guys, it really is as simple as that. The other way which works on all characters requires a certain grenade. This one in particular is called the Sticky Quasar, but it also has to have the Holmes in on closest target mod on it. This grenade also freezes the loot in place, but it isn't anywhere near as effective as the phase grasp tactic. But it does indeed work, just throw them at the loot tank and sometimes he will freeze in place. Now I did see people state that he has to fly up into the sky and when he lands he glitches, that's false, he doesn't have to fly anywhere. It can still be frozen in place as you can see on screen now by just throwing grenades at him and him slightly going up in the air. So yeah it really is as simple as that guys, freeze this little fella and shoot away. This spot right here though isn't the best as other ads do spawn in after a certain while. So you may just want to be wary of that and just take them out as soon as they do spawn in. So yeah guys, get to farming. On screen now you will see multiple locations of where these loot tinks can farm within this certain area. So pick a spot, hopefully the loot tink spawns there for you and farm away. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. Chance of one spawning below as well as multiple other spawning in this very location. So when you do run to that loot tink save point farm, make sure you keep your eyes peeled in this location too. Kill these guys and get that loot, then process to the spot we marked on the map, the original loot tink farm. So this loot tink has friends in this area, one commonly spawning right next to him. If you are quick enough you will kill him too, also doubling up on that loot just from this area. One also spawns up these stairs too, as you can see on screen now. I just miss him and blow myself up, so don't be a scrub like me. So once you've checked here, head back up on yourself to this kind of waterfall. A loot tink more times than not spawns here too. Kill him and get that loot guys.
Now what if I told you three more spawn in this little area? Yes, they indeed do. So from the loot tink save point beacon thingy bob, follow this path to heckle and hide. Two loot tinks also have a chance of spawning right here too, which I've had multiple times. Take them out people. And then there's another one in this area also. So head to this far corner and you'll commonly see one here too. Now these are just the ones I've seen while farming this spot. And these are just the ones I run to every time I load in and out of this area. You can rinse and repeat this process of spawning back from the very start, running the whole route over and over if you want. But I normally just quit out from this spot and start the process from here. As the initial two we first covered in this video, I mean there's so many enemies around them, you find yourselves dying a lot here. But it's up to you if you want to farm them, you can. So quitting out and loading back up into this area means you can look for the seven which commonly spawn in this area. So use this method guys and increase those legendary loot drops as it makes this farm unbelievably more efficient. So yeah guys, if you plan on farming here, use this simple route. Find more than five times the normal loot tinks and you'll find and make farming legendaries even more crazy. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys